took me two, three years to convince myself that I should be directing it. I wrote it and then I actually made a wish list of directors. I was saying the first time, whenever I was aware of it, my heart was a little broken, but I was relieved that okay, I am not being asked to make this. 16 or 17 years of age are too young to decide the rest of your life. Just called it Animal 2. I think more people will come to see. Just maybe they will expect that there will be someone who will be in a scene where someone will be in a scene where someone will be in a scene. Varun Grover's first film is coming and I must say that as a Varun Grover fan, I am very very excited about it. I watched the film Varun. So this is going to be an interesting chat because you know I will be talking about the film. I don't know how to do these chats because you know बिना फिल्म के बारे में बात की हम फिल्म के बारे में कैसे बात कर सकते हैं? जी। But I'm going to start off with a very simple question, which is this is your first feature film. You've been around film sets इससे पहले। Yeah। Written some of the best songs that we know in the last decade perhaps. Been part of big projects. But what changes when you become the director? Okay, तो क्या सीखा और क्या मतलब क्या बिल्कुल पता नहीं था फिल्म मेकिंग के बारे में बताओ मुझे। कम पता था और बहुत कम कॉन्फिडेंस था पांच छह साल पहले जब मैंने ये स्क्रिप्ट लिखी थी एक्चुअली आई रोड दिस स्क्रिप्ट इन 2014 आफ्टर मसान वाज ग्रीन लिट एंड बिफोर इट वाज शॉट सो देवर वाज दैट सिक्स मंथ पीरियड वेयर आई हैड फिनिश्ड मसान राइटिंग एंड नीरज घेवान वाज प्रेपिंग फॉर द फिल्म एंड Ask myself what do you want to write next and it has to be very personal and this story came to me, this mm -hmm. stress of those times growing up in the 90s and in that time, when we were in India, there was a new, new post-liberalization culture tha, that you can jump your social class if you get through to IIT or AIMS. These two big things were you either be a doctor or an engineer from a top school Correct. in India. So that door was stuck in my mind and I wanted that door before that I would forget about it. I would like to write about it before, you know, the other world kind of takes over in my mind. So I wrote it in 2014. I wrote the first draft, so it's been 10 years now. Oh! Yes, it's crazy. And also it's surreal to be talking to you about the film because we go back a long way and we have chatted about many many things from poetry to comedy to uh, lyrics writing to script writing but this is the first time I'm sitting in front of you yeah. as a as a like, filmmaker as a filmmaker it's so yeah phenomenal. it's surreal it's phenomenal. Uh, so tab maine likha tha, 2014 mein, and then it took me two three years to convince myself that I should be directing it I wrote it and then I actually made a wish list of directors I would like to approach oh, with wow. the script and Nitesh Tiwari was one of them because he has been to an IIT and yeah. I thought he might connect with it and Neeraj was also another mm -hmm. option because he is also an engineer turned uh, filmmaker. So, I had a list thi and then I felt that I have written a lot of things inside and I have written a lot of things in my depth and I have written a lot of details that are only in my life and I know that. I will not be able to understand anyone. I will not be able to learn from the director that I need a color of the house in my house, a color of the curtains in my house. They are in my mind. So, then I thought, okay, I should be directing. But then it took me another two, three years. By then, I was involved in sacred games. So, in sacred games, I consciously made it a point to be on the sets throughout, to be on the edit, to be on the sound design, all these, hmm. you know, various departments of filmmaking, I tried to learn whatever I could on Sacred Games. So, season one, season two, I was lucky that, you know, there were hmm. directors like Vikram, Vikramaditya Motwani and Anurag Kashyap and Neeraj Ghevan around it's me. It's like to, film school. <laughs> yeah, to, to yeah. just, to see them working, to see how they run a set, to, to edit, to whatever, hmm. to the post and to various other levels of fights with various departments mm. of, you know, uh, yes. approval. So, I was confident by 2018, 2019. Uh, uske reluctantly, I was taking the script to some producers, asking them, do you want to produce? And honestly, I was saying this the first time, when I was a little bit angry, my heart was a little bit angry, but I was relieved that, okay, I am not 
being asked to make this because I'm not sure if I want to make this. Wow. Like as a filmmaker. Wow. Okay. So मेरे okay. अंदर वो confidence नहीं था तो दो तीन जगह जहाँ भी मना हुआ ना तो I had to kind of uh, pretend that I'm heartbroken but I was also a bit relieved. जयदीप साहनी बना रहे हो क्या इसका नाम पहले माँ भगवतिया आई आई टी कोचिंग था स्क्रिप्ट सो वेन आई रोट द स्क्रिप्ट इट वॉज कॉल्ड माँ भगवतिया आई आई टी कोचिंग सो ही वुड कॉल एवरी टू ईयर्स की वो बना रहे हो क्या हो रहा है उसका सो ही सेंट द स्क्रिप्ट टू श्री राम राघवन आफ्टर अंधाधुन बिकेम अ सक्सेस एंड ही कॉल्ड श्री राम राघवन आई डोंट नो एग्जैक्टली हाउ दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन हैपन बट इन माई हेड इट हैपन लाइक तुमने बहुत पैसे बना लिए बहुत सक्सेसफुल फिल्म हो गई नाउ गो सपोर्ट अ फिल्म विच इज विच नो वन एल्स इज मेकिंग एंड देन दे रेड द स्क्रिप्ट श्री राम राघवन एंड संजय राउत रे प्रोड्यूसर एट मैच बॉक्स सो दे कॉल मी एंड दे सेट आप बनाइए और फिर कोविड हो गया 2020 में वेन आई वॉज रेडी टू मेक वेन आई वॉज लाइक ओके येस नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इट एंड देन कोविड केम इन आर लाइफ एंड वी हैड टू वेट अनदर टू ईयर्स so that's the journey 22 we shot wow. 23 we did the festivals uh, we premiered at rotterdam uh, and in fact the first indian film in 52 years of the history of rotterdam film festival to be the closing night film so yes. we were the first film to have that honor and now we are releasing oh my god what an amazing journey here's my question there are two questions in this one is that what is it about the iitians mm. okay jinko lagta hai ki ye jo zindagi humne ji hai वो इतनी जद्दोजहद वाली है लेकिन हम क्रिएटिव बनना चाहते हैं तो ये ये रुख बिल्कुल मोड़ देते हैं दैट्स वन दी अदर वन इज आफ्टर दैट दिस इज अ प्रेमिस दैट हैज बीन नॉट जस्ट एक्सप्लोर्ड सक्सेसफुली एक्सप्लोर्ड आई थिंक दैट थ्री इडियट्स वो इज द सॉर्ट ऑफ काइंड आई वुड सी द बाइबल टुडे फॉर दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ फिल्म टू कम आउट दर इज बिन कोटा फैक्ट्री विच इज बिन वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ दैट टाइम and yet you have found something different which we will talk mm. about in just mm. a little bit but going in did you ever feel that because is premise mein itne sare already mm. ban chuke hain would was there a fear of being a me too with it no i always knew this is a very personal story mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i always knew ki ye jo meri zindagi hai ye sirf maine ji hai mm-hmm. aur usme bhi khas baat ye hai ki ye late 90s mein set hai uh, to वो एक और डिफ्रेंशिएटर था मेरे दिमाग में तो आई नेवर एक्चुअली फेल्ट कि आई शुड बी कॉन्शियसली अवे फ्रॉम वॉट एवर हैज बीन डन आई नेवर हैड टू बिकॉज आई वॉज ऑलरेडी अवे फ्रॉम वॉट एवर हैड बीन डन ऑल्सो दे वॉज अनदर टेक विच इज विच आई फील इज वेरी यूनिक टू टू दिस स्टोरी टू दिस फिल्म इज दैट इसमें ये बच्चा जो है इसको ये नहीं है कि आर्टिस्ट बनना है या कुछ हाँ, बनना है हाँ. उसकी इच्छाएं और उसके सपने मारे नहीं जा रहे हैं यहाँ भेजकर इट्स जस्ट दैट ही फील्स एंड आई फील 16 और 17 इयर्स ऑफ एज आर टू यंग टू डिसाइड द रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ नो मैटर व्हाट यू वांट टू बी एन आर्टिस्ट ऑल्सो एट सिक्सटीन इफ सम टेल्स यू यू हैव टू बी एन आर्टिस्ट एंड यू ऑल्सो से आई वॉन्ट टू बी एन आर्टिस्ट I think it's too young to know what you really want to be in life and why you want to be only one thing. Correct. Engineer yes. ke saath wo ek badi problem hoti hai kyunki you put in so sakta. much of your yeah. your energy uh, intensely yeah. in those two years that after that it becomes very difficult for you to think of another life. So people think ki bahut sare engineer hain film industry mein. Bahut sare nahi hain. Hum log har साल मेरे ख्याल से हिंदुस्तान में दो तीन करोड़ इंजीनियर पैदा हो रहे हैं या नए बन रहे हैं उसमें से पचास इधर आ जाते हैं सो इट्स अ वेरी स्मॉल नंबर सो इट्स जस्ट अ परसेप्शन पीपल फील कि दो दैट कनेक्ट्स टू योर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाई देर आर सो मेनी इंजीनियर्स चेंजिंग लाइन्स बिकॉज अब डिफॉल्ट uh, हो गया है ग्रेजुएशन का इंजीनियरिंग लाइक टाइम यूज टू बी जब बी एस सी आर पेरेंट्स यूज टू जस्ट गेट अ बी एस सी और बी ए और बी कॉम एंड आजकल ये है कि ग्रेजुएशन करना ही है mm-hmm. तो इंजीनियरिंग कर लो बिकॉज इट्स सो ऑल द ग्रेजुएट्स आर नाउ ट्राइंग टू बी एन इंजीनियर और और इंजीनियर्स एंड दैट्स वाई अ लॉट ऑफ अस फिगर आउट वॉट 
we want to be in our lives during those four years. So yes. you can't figure out. The society doesn't allow you to figure out yeah. at 16. Mm. At 16, you go with wherever the flow yes. is. You know, yes. Of course. Local I hai abhi aapko Exactly. So I was just thinking about the train, train, train analogy was in my head too. Yeah, so now you are standing on Boriwali sure station, in the morning at 8.5 minutes, you have to go to the station, and you have to go to the station, and then you have to go to the Bandra, or the Nazdik, or the Khar, or the Santa Cruz, or the Santa Cruz. So that thing, I feel, those four years hmm. were good for me. Hmm. When I was at my, in my engineering college, it was IIT BHU, yeah. uh, Banaras Hindu University. And no one was on my back asking, Ki, Achha, ab kya karna hai? Now I had done something for the world Correct. to to give me to leave me alone. Correct. And those four years, then I started reading a lot, watching a lot of cinema, directing theatre, writing theatre, and then I felt okay, this is what I want to be in my life. Like be amazing, a amazing. Uh, they say always write what you know. Okay, they say always tell the story that you know. And I know you a little bit and I know there are so many points in the film where I said that of course this is Varun's film because uh, we have done a very big interview kiya. actually we've done a couple but one of my favorite ones is the Mary 90s ki playlist uh -huh. where we chatted oh, and uh, where you spoke about spool you know tapes <laughs> and you spoke about so many things that are in the film so then when I was watching your film, it was like a game for me, saying that of course this is Varun, right? <laughs> uh, but that time, what your film does is take us back to the 90s and give us the 90s like crazy. This door is so unique hai. and I don't know that these 30 years later, the 2000s have been born, they will feel this nostalgia feel or not. But the 90s were just its own, like there's been no other time like it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, absolutely. And do you think that that was one of the biggest things of the film that you wanted to explore? Because I think that this is what I've explored. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So for me, the story of why competitive exams became such a huge thing in India mm -hmm. is very closely tied to the 90s. Yes. Because 90s were the era of almost like how, I Cheer don't know, liberalization haan, haan, in a way. And liberalization, and yeah, yeah, not just in economy and politics, but yeah. in our lives also. Cable TV came for the first time. Yeah. Phones actually came for the first time. Uske pehle, mohalle mein kisi ek ke ghar pe ek landline phone hota tha okay. and you would go, or you'd go to uh, one STD PCO booth and, you know, call and there was this great panic. And then suddenly computers came, Channel V and MTV came to India. Yeah, you know. Dek, dek kar, yeah. Yeah. Bane hai. Aur, uh, matlab, but you know. And I mean, the Michael Jackson saw it. Suna tha ki aisa koi aadmi hota hai. Ha. Yeah, and yeah, Rahman's music came, which yeah. is also there in the film in a, yes, in a crucial sequence. And we are so happy we got the rights for that. Uh, took a long, long struggle, but yeah, it's there. The 90s was the era of the family gadget. Yeah. And I thought that that was so beautifully said because everything made sense. You know, mm. the phone was shared, the mm. TV was shared, uh, the computer was shared. And when you share things with human beings, then their real things, what actually happens, they come out. So, yeah. yeah. Papa is authoritative. Then, Mommy is the one who 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 is the And that observation stayed with me for so many years. Mm. And there is a PCO in your film. Yeah. And uh, there is a lot of drama that happens around that PCO as well. Just, I don't want to give spoilers guys so you yeah. got to go and watch the film but I, I thought that the 90s just is a character in the film yeah yeah absolutely so for me that was one of the ambitions in my first film to recreate 90s not just with the with the things and objects but with the texture with the way people spoke with the way people behaved and with the way people just were you know in a in a much uh, gentle yes, space, yes. you know, everyone, even if there are, you know, there are bad people in the film, even they are very gentle in, in their yeah. badness or whatever. So they were, they were very different times. And for me, uh, it was definitely as important to capture those times well, as yeah. it was to tell the story of Vivek and, you know, his parents yes, in yeah. the film. Just Vivek, Varun, same guy. Uh, let me tell There's you. There's a reason why it's called Vivek because I, in Lucknow, uh, the mohalla we used to live in was called Vivek Khand. So, so the story Masa. is kind of because I took memories from, from those times and from that home we had in Lucknow. 
इट वॉज इन विवेक खंड तो इसलिए इसका नाम हमने विवेक मुझे लगा ही था दैट यू नो देर इज सो मच ऑफ यू इन दिस फिल्म बिकॉज दैट बॉय इज ऑल्सो आई मीन इफ यू नोन वरुण uh and i i don't claim to know him as my chaddi buddy or anything we've had a very uh, beautiful relationship shared mostly over poetry and uh, good work i guess you know mm -hmm. and but even in those interactions what i have known about you is that you are that gentle and you are that person so it's lovely to see how your interpretation of people because we are the films we make mm -hmm. and especially in a day and age like today mm -hmm. when we have so much debate with with absolutely hyper masculine films yeah. comes a film like all india rank which is a gentle whisper you know so what do you think about that kya aap whisper kar rahe hain jahan par baaki ke jo mard hai wo chilla rahe hain dal ke piche chhod par yeah i know maine ye ek jagah bola bhi hai kahin pe ki if we had called the film animal 2 just aise just without changing anything in the film just called it animal 2 i think zyada log आ जाएंगे देखने जस्ट मे बी दिल एक्सपेक्ट कि हाँ किसी सीन में कोई एक चाकू लेके दौड़ रहा होगा कहीं पे और है ना तो आई नो बट दैट पार्ट दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ फिल्म्स आई वांट टू सी ऑन स्क्रीन दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ फिल्म्स आई आई लव पठान जवान यू नो आई लव दैम एंड आई स्टिल बिलीव सिनेमा हॉल्स शुड हैव स्पेस फॉर जेंटल फिल्म ऑल्सो फॉर फिल्म स्टार्टअप आर स्टोरीज डे टू डे स्टोरीज ड्रामा कॉमेडी सिंपल रॉम कॉम्स नथिंग यू नो विदाउट फैंटसी एलिमेंट और विदाउट यू नो एवरी काइंड ऑफ फिल्म शुड बी देयर एंड दैट्स वाई सिनेमा हॉल्स आर आर यू नो दे आर इन द बिजनेस ऑफ शोइंग स्टोरीज सो so this is the kind of film i want to see and, yeah. and, and it's a it's a subtlety is your biggest weapon i've always known this about you uh but making your film the way you want to and i think the medium is the message right uh but making this as your first film i think that in the light of what's happening it's it's in itself a statement do you look at that do you look at yourself putting that statement out right now no i mean one when you're making a film you don't even know when it will release Please. so now it just happened Correct. that you know it's releasing in in right after the year year of angry men yes. on screen yes and uh, that was not our choice the statement i always want to make through my work is that there is hope in life there is goodness in people and there is like the power of imaginations which i think was the kind of the message in masan also Absolutely. in uh, Absolutely. no matter like a very different kind of work but sandeep or pinky farar also had that message of hope message of people trying to break free and which is what i want to yeah, hear also yeah yeah kehte hain the first win that you need as a director is to cast right and i must say well you cast right uh the boy who plays vivek he's so beautiful he's got such a unique face Uh, his mother is one of my favorite people in the movies. Like, आजकल जब वो आती है मुझे लगता है माँ आ गई है. Yeah. गीता अग्रवाल, who I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. the father is an absolute fine because I've never seen him. Uh, my, I don't have memory of him. Mm -hmm. So, which is great because I yeah. have no preconceived notions of this yeah. gentleman, which yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. Shashi Bhushan. Yeah. And then you have uh, you know like a Bree Shiba Chadda coming in and just she's so consistent. Like, I just love <laughs> yeah. her as an actor. So please tell me, K, did were these your first and favorite casting choices? Yeah. So for casting Bodhi Sir to as Vivek, uh, it took us a long while. Bahut because it was he has to carry the entire film. Film, bilkul. Uh, he's there in every frame of his part of the story, mm -hmm. his track. So, bahut mehnat humne ki. Thanks to Casting Bay, the casting agency. Uh, so they uh, got us more than thousand kids. audition and we made sure we won't audition in bombay we want to audition in north india in smaller okay. places like so we auditioned in patna lucknow uh, banaras uh, bhopal jaipur calcutta delhi oh, okay. delhi was hmm. still a big big city, big city but still yeah. we wanted to cast people who know hindi very well saaf hindi bol sake सिखाना नहीं पड़े हिंदी बोलना लखनवी डायलेक्ट जो उस समय की थोड़ी उसमें कुछ भाषा के शब्द हैं नसुड्डा हाँ हाँ। और सिंगे की और इस तरह के कुछ लखनऊ के शब्द हैं जो हिमांशु वाजपेयी जो लखनऊ डायलेक्ट कोच थे हमारे उन्होंने दिए थे तो उन्होंने वर्क 
Kiya Bodhi ke saath, eventually Himanshu Bajpayee ne on dialect, on Shashi Bhushan also and uh, Geeta Agarwal. So the whole Lucknow family was yes. uh, you know coached by Himanshu Bajpayee who is a Dastan go from Lucknow. Uh, but we still wanted very authentic faces and people who can understand or speak the language very clearly. So Bodhi was selected out of those thousand auditions. I saw personally more than 300 auditions. Wow. Usme se humne char select kiye yes. for the lead role and for all the four mm. roles. So Vivek, Samta, uh, uh, ni, uh, Rinku and Chandan. Yes. So the four friends, basically for every character, we selected four kids out okay. of thousands. So, then we took 16 people and did a workshop for 3 days. All 16 in one room and we did like lots of exercises with them. I interviewed them personally, like two, two hour long interviews just to understand where they are coming from in life. And, wow! Know. So, Kafi... This is your own, the Varun Grover process is getting set. So, so, we still, we made lots of videos, we asked them to do lots of scenes from the film and then it took us another week of just going through those videos and all then we settled Set on, on Bodhi Sattva Sharma and uh, Samta Sudhiksha and Ayush Pandey for Rinku and uh, Neeraj for uh, Chandan and the but parents', parents ke role. Okay, one second, let me say this. These are the best parents I've ever met on screen. <laughs> You know, they have a quality of like the times of hamlog. I can't really say, I, 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 there is no way for me to describe it in Hindi or English. But, achha, ek shabd hai, aajkal, jo trending hai, jo hai wholesome. Ya, to ye Gen Z samaj jayenge, sare, because they are like everything is wholesome, right? But they are truly wholesome. These two parents, they're amazing. So. Yeah, so, yaha pe thi kulta hua. Shayad das audition bhi nahi dekhe mene, pe father or Haan, mother ke role ke liye. शायद सातवां आठवां ऑडिशन होगा जिसमें ये दोनों ही साथ में थे ऑडिशन में ही बिकॉज़ द कास्टिंग टीम कास्टिंग वे दे हैड डन देयर ओन पेयरिंग एंड गॉटन देम टू डू सीन्स टुगेदर सो दे गॉट देम टुगेदर एंड द मोमेंट आई सॉ दैट ऑडिशन आई वाज लाइक हो गया खत्म ये तो आधे घंटे में हमारा लॉक हो गया ये तो एंड देन वी मेट देम देन अगेन वी डिड वन सीन विद देम दैट लॉन्ग सीन आउटसाइड इन द कोर्टयार्ड ऑफ द हाउस and uh, in that scene, by the time the audition was done, I was crying. The guy holding the camera like a small handicam, he was crying, everyone was crying. It was so beautiful, the way they nailed it in the audition without any preps and all. So we knew that Shashi Bhushan and Geeta Agarwal are definitely going to be the parents. Yeah, and uh, so that's how the casting process went and it was one chunk was really long and one chunk was very easy. It's the easiest thing to villainize our parents. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about our real lives, you know. Yeah. Okay, we are in a place where we have so much access to so much goodness, like therapy mm -hmm. and, you know, mental health and all of that. And what comes out most times is the easiest way to define your matlab, mistakes is blame it on your parents. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you didn't do that. And uh, it's nice because, you know, we need to see examples of parents who are nice. Uh, ye point of view, ye world view, khud ka hai, autobiographical hai, ya unki ek samaj, ya unko samajna, hum apne parents ko kitna samajte hai. Uh, I was walking out of your film thinking about this for myself. So for me, uh, that is also one major differentiator, how this film is different from other stories which have been told before this in the similar setup. Uh, for me, ye bada zaruri hai, koi bhi kahani mein kahun, uske sare perspective, सामने होने चाहिए और फिर जजमेंट मिनिमम होना चाहिए यू कैन जज एज एन ऑडियंस यू कैन जज दिस पर्सन फॉर बीइंग गुड और बैड और नॉट सफिशिएंट काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग बट मुझे लगता है कि जब तक सारे पर्सपेक्टिव नहीं रखे वो कहानी पूरी नहीं होती है और वो कहानी में इंटरेस्ट भी मुझे इसी वजह से आया था जैसा कि मैंने कहा कि पोस्ट लिबरलाइजेशन इंडिया से ही क्यों अचानक से ये सक्सेस बिकेम एन इंडस्ट्री इट्स नॉट द आईआईटी इंडस्ट्री और द कोचिंग इंडस्ट्री इट्स द सक्सेस इंडस्ट्री वो कहाँ से आया और वो कौन सा कॉम्प्लेक्स था हमारे पेरेंट्स की जनरेशन में विच गिव राइज टू दिस थिंग सो व्हेन यू आर एड्रेसिंग समवंस कॉम्प्लेक्सेस और समवंस हाउ हाउ दे सी द वर्ल्ड देन ओनली यू एम्पेथाइज विद देम सो फॉर मी दैट वाज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू सी द जर्नी द पेरेंट्स हैव टेकन टू बी दिस काइंड ऑफ अ पेरेंट एंड दैट और हमारे सारे पेरेंट्स सब ने कोई एक जर्नी देखी है जिस वजह से उनके 
अनरिजॉल्व ट्रामाज हमको मिले हैं और फिर हम आगे देंगे या अपने दोस्तों को दे देते हैं नहीं तो लोग इंस्टा पे शेयर कर लेते हैं जैसे भी करते हैं बट उसको समझना बड़ा जरूरी है नो बट आई लव दैट आई लव द फैक्ट दैट दीज आर पेरेंट्स एंड द पेरेंट्स हैव देयर ओन लाइफ यू नो विदाउट देम बीइंग कैरिकेचर्स ऑफ हैप्पी पेरेंट्स I don't know how to say it. There are lots of things about this film that I don't know how to say, and that's a good place to be personally because uh, when you fail to have words and that's your everyday job, it means that you're making me think, which is awesome. Uh, at the end of it all, you know, the film is going to come out, and it's going to. What has been the best piece of advice that you've been given in the filmmaking process, and the worst piece of advice, or जो तुमने सुनी और अनसुनी की है? So best piece of advice: wear comfortable clothes on the set. <laughs> because it's going to be a long day you don't worry about looking fashionable looking okay. presentable on the set you are the director you will think ki are aaj main thoda acha pehen ke jata hu logon ko lagega ye director hai just wear a kurta pajama if that suits yeah. you yeah. because it's going to be a really long day and very very uncomfortable by evening and the temperature changes din mein bahut garmi hogi shaam ko thand hogi what a great, what a great like piece of advice this is amazing that was the best advice amazing. i think Correct. वर्स्ट पीस ऑफ एडवाइस आई डोंट नो एक और बहुत अच्छी एडवाइस अनुराग कश्यप ने दी थी इफ यू आर कंफ्यूज अबाउट हाउ टू स्टे द सीन जस्ट लुक इन टू द आईज फोकस ऑन द आईज ऑफ द एक्टर्स एंड गेट द इमोशन फ्रॉम देयर एंड डोंट वरी अबाउट वो इधर से शूट हो रहा है उधर से शूट हो रहा है वाइड है क्लोज है आंखें दिख रही हैं एक्टर की सीन में और आंखों में इमोशन तुम तक पहुंच रहा है इट विल वर्क थिंग्स यू डोंट लिसन टू things i don't listen to one advice which has come from multiple sources is you can be rude on the sets to get the work done which i can't be which a lot of people have have that working style that because the film is above everything else so mm-hmm. humans mm-hmm. on the sets don't matter much as long as you get your day sorted uh, that advice i absolutely like trashed it the moment fantastic. i heard it yeah good so yeah that is fantastic you know we uh, we'll talk a lot more now yeah. maybe offline but yeah. for right now this is all the time we have today and i'm so happy that you know every time you put something out that is important to you uh, i have the opportunity to talk to you about so thank, thank you. you so much varun thank for ch- chatting with me on fever today thank you thank lovely you. talking